might of the United Nations is loosed upon war plants in Nazi-occupied Europe. As the war raged in Europe and the Pacific, military strategists increasingly relied on air power to take the fight to the enemy. New planes poured out of America's factories. Pilots were needed to fly the fighters and bombers. Air bases like Rice Army Airfield were critical in preparing pilots and air crews. So there's still two runways that are visible today. There's uh, taxiways that you can still see in the desert surface. There's a large concrete apron behind us, which you can see. There's a lot of foundations for the buildings. There are extensive rock-lined walkways that show where troops lived and, and worked for two years. Well, believe it or not, this is the remains of what was once an active runway here at Rice Army Airfield. It was originally built with a mixture of sand and asphalt to create a relatively durable surface. Well, the runway wasn't as smooth as it might have been, but it was substantial. It supported the airplane all right. 